What's up guys? Welcome to part two of my Civic EK build. If you guys haven't seen part one, go down in the description link below and go check that out before you watch this one. So at the end of that video, I was showing you guys all the little things I got from the junkyard. I'm gonna be pulling the head off. I'm gonna also be putting a Y8 intake manifold conversion on this. So enjoy the show and I'll see you guys around the corner. All right, one thing that every EK needs since these always break or one of these four dollars worth it check out those dirty dirty carpet floor mats I'm about to just pressure wash this and then use my uh, carpet cleaner soak it all up Not perfect, but not bad either. Can't really save that one. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little gap, but this is an aftermarket bumper, which I've shown before. But Looks better, at least it's not sticking out. Well, since I'm still waiting for parts, I'm gonna swap over these GSR Fat 5 since I'm gonna sell this Integra over to this guy. Hopefully it'll look all right. So here it is. Got me an Exeti clutch, throw bearing, uh, intake manifold thermal gasket, Exhaust manifold gasket with the header here. Cheap eBay one, which will do just fine. A Y8 head gasket. It is the cheapest VTEC gasket that you can get. It also works with the Y7, so here's a part number. Drove her in the backyard so that I can have this nice pavement. Also, my other car is in the way. The cherry picker is in front of it. So it's time to pull the motor out right here. All right, so here's where I'm at. Took the fuel rail off, throttle body since I need that. Took the uh, head bolts off, or they're not off, but they're loose. So the head could come off because I'm gonna replace the head gasket. I decided maybe I should just uh, take everything off here, keep the block on there so I don't have to pull the motor out. Plus I don't have to take the AC off, I don't have to take that mount off, any of this wiring off. It should be pretty easy. And here is the comparison. It's a lot bigger. This one right here, it was here, goes over to this right here. So that means it'll be over on this one right here. So outside, outside, inside, goes to this one. All right, so I would say cut about right there. Okay, next we have the black box right here. So that right here goes in through this hole to that manifold right there. Okay, it is in. We'll cut and clamped up. So at this time, you can go ahead and mount your intake manifold in, which I already did. So onto this one right here, which that, on the old intake, right here, it was where it 
this this line right here this hose goes to something here right so what was bolted here it was this unit right here so with this you have that little port right there so that to that so I'm at the junkyard I'm looking to grab the idle air in the back the connector in the back below this guy if I can reach it right here that's all I need so I'll be cutting this off Okay, here is a little downpipe comparison. Look how much smaller that is. It is a 421 header I got from eBay. Yes, it was really cheap, but it works. All right, I got one bolt in. It's kind of struggle, and then I realized the O2 bung is right here. How do you stick that secondary O2 right there if the axles were in the way right there? So it's in, but it's slightly touching right there. So I know it's a little ghetto, but I think I might bend this a little bit out there. So it has a little spinning room right there. I had to extend those uh, injector harness wires connectors and now it's done and ready to start so let me go crank it up there's a weird AC sound coming right there overall not too bad See if there's a check light. Oh, there is a check light. I still need to hook up that. It might be that. I'm gonna put it down here. Drill a hole under here. I'll just keep it running for right now. Starting to turn gold. Alright, so I just had it running for a good 10 minutes. Look at that. This one did not heat up. So maybe the valves in there are actually bent. So I did plug this little plug thing sensor right here back in and I still have a check light so I might roll out to one of the auto parts store and plug in the OBD2 reader and see what I get but it does sound good well alrighty guys this is the third time taking the head off third time's a charm right so I'm going to take the rocker arms off, uh, the rocker assembly, and take these valves off. And just bought a new set of uh, valve, valve keeper remover, and installation. This thing is going to help out, make it go quick. For right now, I'm going to take these off. Adjust this so that the piston is up. I'm keeping it on the head on the block so it makes it a lot more stabilized and and then pull the head off go from there so I'm just gonna pull these four here
so I just put the valves onto this and just spun it to see if these are bent or not. These two in the intake side are good, but both of these exhaust ones are bad. Let me stick this one off first and show you guys how it looks like. Pretty bad. This one's a little off, but not as bad as the other one, but it's still off. All right, so I picked up this header from the junkyard for $16. It's like a weird brand, eBay brand probably. Rusty as heck, but it will work. We got this O2 bung right here that I'll need. It's a lot better than the eBay one that was sticking up to the axle. Came with this test pipe, so I might as well take it, but I won't be using that. And then we got the second, the first bong right here. So I don't really care how it looks like, I'm just gonna paint it black. And it'll be good to go. Alright guys, so I got the head back in once again. I torqued the head bolts at 55 pounds this time. The two intake valves were the ones I replaced from ITM. The exhaust ones were good, so I decided to slap those back in. Did a vacuum test through all cylinders and they checked out good. Of course, I ended up doing the valve uh, clearances once again. This time I did 0 .007 here in the intake side and 0 .009 here, the exhaust side. The tighter the better. Last time I did, um, let's see, 8 and 10. And so I just got to put everything back in and then get ready to fire it up. Okay guys, moment of truth. Find me a few times. It's funny that throttle bearing still sounds pretty loud even though I changed it. Let's go check out the motor. Sounds really good. Sounds stronger this time. Nice and quiet. Alright, let's see if the check light came on. And... Good. All right, she's all cleaned up, looking good, runs and drives. I'm actually starting to really like this car. I have a few things coming up, so get ready for part three. <laughs> After all that work with this single can, it's time to do a B-swap. <laughs> 